I have yet another way of making coffee I want to share with you today. This is the Trestle K-Cup adapter for the AeroPress. If you're interested in seeing how it works and hearing my thoughts on it, keep watching. Just before we get started, I want to thank the company Planetary Designs for sending out the Trestle K-Cup adapter so that I could share it with you. Now, before I get into showing you how the device works, I th first think we need to discuss why. Why would I even want to use this device with the AeroPress? I mean, longtime viewers know the AeroPress is my favorite way of making coffee. It makes a great cup of coffee. It's easy to use. It's easy to clean. It's compact. It's not something that's going to break. It's hard to improve upon that already. Well, here's the thing about the AeroPress. It has become so popular worldwide for those reasons that there are now international competitions for the best AeroPress recipe. That really blows my mind and there are videos on the AeroPress showing that those competitions if you're interested in seeing them. So because of that popularity a number of companies have come up with devices that attach to the AeroPress to gain a little bit more versatility. Some of them are questionable about how much value they add one I did purchase for myself, which was a stainless steel filter, which replaces the paper filters. It is very finely perforated. Uh, don't have to use paper filters. It does change the way you have to make your coffee. You start with a coarser grind, and it does change the way the coffee tastes and feels in your mouth. Not worse, not necessarily better, just different. It depends on your individual tastes. So when I took a look at the trestle, I had to say, what does it offer and who is it intended for? Well, I think there's two reasons why the trestle is going to be something worth considering and, and two types of people that may find it something they want to consider for themselves. First off, those who use K-cups at home might see the convenience of this as something that they can take to the woods and share and take that convenience with them. I mean, at home, all you have to do is reach for a K-cup, pop it into your Keurig machine, press the button, out comes a hot cup of coffee, and then dispose of the K-cup afterwards. Or take it one step further, open the K-cup up, put the coffee in the compost, rinse it out, put the plastic portion in recycle, which would be the best thing to do, of course. But how does that translate to the woods? Well, if you, you take the K-cups with you to the woods, there's a better chance you're like also going to take them home and not leave them in the woods. And that's one of the things that concerns me about people who make coffee with AeroPress out in the woods. It's just so easy to pop that coffee out into the ground and then just leave it. And of course, that's not what we want to do. This is just that much easier. I don't find it hard to use the AeroPress and clean up afterwards, pop in the puck of coffee into a plastic bag, but it's just that much easier to be able to take the K-cups out of this uh, adapter, as I'll show you, and pop them into some type of garbage bag and take them home. So I think it just extends the convenience of K-cups from the kitchen to the woods and makes it just a little bit easier for people to clean up. I do recommend, of course, you always take your K-cups home and recycle them and just compost the coffee if at that composting is available to you where you're at. Okay, that's basically how or my reasoning behind the Trestle K-cup adapter. I guess now the thing to do is show you how it works. All right, let's start by taking a look at the Trestle device itself. So basically there are three components to it. I'll start with this piece. This is what sits on over your coffee cup and holds the rest of the adapter on top so that you can press down on the piston of the AeroPress. There's also the chamber itself where the K-cup will go inside. And then there is this portion, which is what attaches to the AeroPress and allows the water to be forced into the K-cups down through the bottom of this device. Pretty simple, right? All right, let me just grab my AeroPress and we'll start with that. So now here's the AeroPress. So you start by taking off the filter. I like to push the piston back just a little bit to give it some room for this to go in. And now I'm going to take this device and you can see there are two orange get rubber gaskets on that. Push on it to make sure it's seated in the AeroPress. Now I will tell you, there it's in. Sometimes when it's cold out, like it is kind of cool out today, it is a little harder to push into the piston, but once it's in there, it's in there. It's not going to fall out either. Now the next thing is we're going to take our K cups and attach it to this portion of the device itself. So here's the thing there are basically two types of K cups that I want to share with you. First off, there's this one. This is the disposable pods. And what I mean by disposable is this entire thing can go into your compost. It is paper filter. It is paper seal on the top. It's even a papery cardboard 
type of a rim around here. Um, that makes for a lot of convenience, but it does have one very significant downside, and that is there's nothing to keep the coffee fresh. I mean, it starts to get stale as soon as you take it out of the sealed bag because the coffee is exposed to the air through the paper right up here. The other thing is I have not seen this yet, in any of the good craft coffee brands that are out there. Uh, this one is a grocery store brand and okay, it works in an emergency. It gave me the opportunity to test out the trestle to make sure I knew how it worked before sharing it with you. But I'll be happy when these are gone because I don't think they offer a whole lot, certainly not a lot of flavor anyway. The other type is the more traditional looking plastic K cup, which has a seal on top. Now. Here's what's special about the one I'm holding. This one is made by Rampage Coffee. And Rampage, as longtime viewers will know, is my preferred coffee. They are a Canadian company. They are located in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. They fresh roast the, uh, the best of coffees, all fair, well, not even fair trade beyond that. They go directly to the farms and purchase it. They roast it themselves. They ship it out fresh. And it is, well, it's still my favorite coffee. I think people know that by now. So when they started making K-cups, I reached out to one of the owners of the company, uh, not, yes, Lauren, not, not her husband, and uh, I asked her about them. And the reason she, she told me the reason they went with the plastic ones and not the disposable ones is because the plastic ones will keep the coffee fresh whereas the disposable ones will not. So that was a decision they had to make, and I think they went in the right direction with this because, to be honest, these are so easy to dispose of properly afterwards. I mean, you can take them home, you can throw them in the garbage, but if you really want to be responsible about it, they're very easy to cut that foil off the top, dump the coffee into your compost, give it a quick rinse, and then toss this into the recycle. So that is the other type of pot. Now, there are refillable pods some made of stainless steel and some made of plastic that look very much like this. My understanding from Trestle is they will not work with this adapter. I can't say they will or they won't because I haven't had an opportunity to test them out. I do plan on purchasing a couple to try out and see how well they work. Anyway, this is the one we're going to work with today because, of course, why wouldn't I work with Rampage if I had the, cho had the choice? Now, how does this work? If you look close, you're going to see three little projections around the outside, or sorry, around the inside, they hold on to that lip of the K-cup. So you start by puncturing the K-cup with this pointy little cone, for lack of a better term, and snapping it down inside. And there, it's actually in there, and it's attached now, and there's a hole into the, into the K-cup through the foil, ready to go. Now I can take the rest of the device, put it on top, lock it in place so now the entire thing is locked together now i do have to remove the piston before i can add the water this is going to sit on top of my coffee cup like this the water is going to get poured down inside the piston's going to go back on and then we slowly push the piston down i'm going to demonstrate that in a minute because there that's one of the great things about using this trestle that i've discovered is you get to control how much water how fast, how long the contact co time between the hot water and the coffee is, and that's something you can't do with your machine at home. All right, that's the basic setup. Let me get a fire going, get some hot water going, and I'll show you how it works. All right, let's check and see. Oh, water is boiling hard, that's great. I'm just gonna take the pot off of the fire for a second to give it a chance to come just below the boiling point. A little bit better for making the coffee with. Doesn't take long when it's cool out. Now here is the advantage of this square pot and that is the fact that it's so easy to pour with. It's like having a spout on a kettle. All right. Fill that right up with water. Maybe a little bit more. All right, let's put that aside. All right, now that I poured the water into the AeroPress, I can see bubbles rising, and that's the water going into the cake cup below and uh, starting to saturate the coffee. And I can help that along a little bit by putting the piston on and giving it just a little short push. 
And what I've done now is I've pushed some water into the coffee pod, so it is saturating the coffee. In fact, some of it is starting to come out the bottom of the device below. But if I leave it there just for a second like that, then that allows me to adjust the contact time between the water and the coffee myself. I don't have to rely on a machine doing that for me. I can play with this until I figure out what is just the right contact time. Now, having done that, I'll just start a very slow, slow pressure, slower than I probably would normally with any, the a regular AeroPress recipe, just to make sure that there's an extended contact time with the water going through the K-cup. No rush here at all. Uh, getting there. Once the water is gone, it's just a little bit of water left. There'll be a hiss from the air. Once I hear that hiss, I'll know it's time to stop pushing. I don't need to be pushing air through the AirPod or through the K-Cup. Right there. And that's where I stop. Ooh, that looks like a nice cup of coffee. Now, this is going to be really, really hot. I'm going to leave it a few minutes before I try to clean up anyway. And I think it's time to enjoy this cup of coffee, and we'll wrap this video up. All right, time for the taste test. Yeah, that is a nice cup of coffee. It really is. And I know a lot of people would find it hard to believe that you can even get a good cup of coffee using K-Cups, let alone a great cup of coffee like this one is. And I think the reason why this has turned out as well as it has is because of the coffee itself. The Rampage coffee in the K-Pods or K-Cups is just superior to everything else I tried. And I did try quite a few before uh, I settled on the Rampage ones. I went to the grocery store, tried a number off of the shelves. Some of them were passable, some of them were okay, most of them were barely, I wouldn't call them good, just okay. This is great, it really is. So I think to get the most out of your K-Cup and the trestle K-Cup adapter with the AeroPress, you have to have good coffee. The better the coffee you can get, the better the cup of coffee you will have afterwards. And for me, of course, it's, it's gonna be the Rampage. Okay, the trestle itself, easy to use, easy to clean up. I just drop that pod right into a plastic bag and now I'll take it home. I'll re or compost the coffee out of the pod, recycle the plastic, easy peasy when I get it home. Just that little bit easier to do than it is with the AeroPress by itself. Not that I mind using the AeroPress without the trestle, it's just that little bit easier. So I think for anybody who currently enjoys the convenience of K-Cups and the Keurig at home, will appreciate having this uh, device that they can use it with them out in the woods. That's, that's who it's really for. Just make sure you get yourself good coffee like the Rampage. That's what I'm going to say about it. Okay, I think that's enough uh, about the Trestle K-Cup adapter. If you have any comments or questions regarding it, if you have any suggestions for um, ways I can make coffee out in the woods, I'm getting a few from viewers. I appreciate it. I'm going to try the ones I think I can actually pull off properly out here. Uh, put that all in the comments section below. The information for the trestle, I'll be putting in the video description, the links to planetary design, as well as what I have in terms of dimensions and weights and that type of thing. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.